Well, the first 24 hours of the children's book have been insane. It is the number one bestseller in its category on Amazon. This is crazy. I don't even understand what's happening, but I'll try to explain it to you. Uh, I wrote a kid's book. OK, here is the book. Think like a detective. It's just a fun book to start introducing critical thinking concepts to kids. What is evidence? How do we know that something's true? This sort of thing. Um, there's jokes in it that are more for adults as well. You will see that there is a boy named Ronald. There's a boy named Ronald on one page who looks a lot like a particularly uh, uh, terrible former president. And Ronald lied about the number of kids at his birthday party. You get the joke. OK, you get it. We started making this available yesterday on Amazon paperback and then Kindle pre-orders. All the Kindle ones will come out on Saturday. It's just the way it works. I had absolutely no idea the way that this was going to go. And from the number of complaints I received about the book, you would think that it would go terribly. For example, someone wrote to me and said, David, this is too advanced for young kids. It's really more for high school students. I don't think so. It really is a kid's book. Yes, if you're six or seven, you're going to need to have your uh, you know, adult or guardian or someone read the book to you. I get that and explain it. But this is not a book for high schoolers. No, this is this is a book for kids. But someone said, David, this is too advanced. Someone wrote to me and said, David, the picture of the kid detective on the front, the kid should be a minority. It looks like the kid is white, so I'm not going to buy the book. Oh, boy. David, the book should not be sold by Amazon. It should be sold by someone else. I get the Amazon stuff. OK, the, the reality is that we're not looking to buy a thousand of these and then ship them out ourselves. Amazon's print on demand is really convenient. Our main thing is this show. We needed convenience. OK, but I'm, I'm with you. Someone else said, David, this book is not accessible globally because it is only in English. That's true. We only wrote the book in English. I'm sorry. Someone else wrote in and said, David, the book should not have been done with AI illustrations, even if we did use AI illustrations as a base and then edit them ourselves. That was wrong. Someone else wrote to me, said, David, you shouldn't have the Kindle available for pre order. It should be available now like the paperback. It wasn't our choice there. The Amazon system requires some lead time before the Kindle orders are filled. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we have persevered. And this is insane. The book is the number one bestseller in Amazon's children's reference and nonfiction section. I, I, it is absolutely stunning to me. We have fulfilled. I don't know how many paperbacks have been ordered. I only know how many have been shipped. A hundred and eight paperbacks have already been shipped and many more have been ordered. Two hundred and thirty two people have pre ordered the digital Kindle version. We have received orders from the UK, Germany, Italy, Australia, Canada. Um, I, it's it's just incredible. It's incredible. That all being said, I do want to go through and just show you some amazing uh, messages and reviews that we got. Braden wrote in with a really good idea and said potential children's book ban. David, huge fan of the new children's book. I think it's a great idea. Plan on buying it. However, how long do you think it will take for Florida to ban it for woke indoctrination? I'd love to hear your thoughts, my friends. I hope someone tries to ban this book. People have been writing to me saying they're going to gift the book to a bunch of libraries. I hope a library rejects it. I hope someone I have teachers writing to me saying, David, I'm going to use this book in class. I'm going to read this book to my students. The book is not political. Yes, it makes fun of Trump. OK, but it's not a political book. Little kids wouldn't even realize that it's like an adult joke. I would love it. If parents go crazy because their teacher read this book to students in class, I would love it if a school library and who the hell knows, Tennessee tries to ban the book. I hope they try to ban the book. Let's try to make it happen. I think it would be a great story. OK, now some really great reviews already on Amazon. And please remember, if you order the book, please review it. It's so important. It's the number one thing that determines how it will do. Um, OK, X. Here's one review. Excellent secular homeschooling resource. I homeschool my learning disabled son and I'm excited for this book. All students should learn how to think. I can't wait for the author to publish books about this subject for teens and adults. Beautiful review. Next review. 
will bring tears to your eyes. I see what you did there. Wonderful book for our future leaders. Save the country. Have your children learn about critical thinking at ASAP. Sir, I write this as a big, strong man. I have tears in my eyes with the thought of giving this book to my children. Beautiful, beautiful message, folks. Uh, I don't know how far this is going to go. It really started kind of as a goof, but it's now the best seller in its category on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle. You can get it on paperback, buy copies, distribute them to libraries, give them to your kids. Teacher say, here's something to read. David dot com slash book. Let's keep going as we push this into more countries and uh, please review the book. Let me know what you think, et cetera.